friends, it's Lisa, your go-to gal for all things watercolor painting and DIY crafting. And today I've got an awesome video for you. I have seven Christmas ornaments. Ornaments? Ornaments. <laughs> and it feels weird to say that because it's 90 degrees here today in my part of Texas and we haven't even really had good fall weather yet. So anyways, I thought I'd share these because they're fast, fun, and affordable to make. And it's also, oh, this video is part of a playlist. It's called the Everything Christmas Playlist and it's hosted by myself and my dear friend, Katie from Lady Red Crafting. And our guest host this month is Jody from Southern Seasons. You know, I'm gonna have a link to their channels as well as to the playlist in the description box below. So be sure and check it out because, um, you know, if you're into crafting and you must be because you're watching my video. <laughs> You might find it fun and entertaining as well as get some great inspiration. So uh, let's stop talking about it. Let's start being about it and let's get to crafting. On this channel, I love to share easy crafting DIYs as well as all things watercolor painting. And if we haven't met yet, my name is Lisa and this is our gray house. I purchased some wood slices from Hobby Lobby. You can find those in the his and hers wedding section as well as the wood pile section. Check both areas to see if there's a better deal on one area versus the other. But I took out a wood slice and then I took out a smaller wood slice, cut it in half and I just used my modder saw for that. And then I had to kind of sand it so it was curved and would fit around the bigger wood slice and then I took some wood glue that I got from Dollar Tree and I used that to glue those little ears to the face of this little bear that I'm making. And then I took some chalk paint and I believe this is the color linen and or a linen-ish color. You can really use any color that you'd like. Maybe you want to use a brown. I don't know. And so I am painting the inside of what will be the face area as well as the inside of the ears. I started to put on the nose area as you can see, but I don't like that color. I end up changing it. But I am taking a much darker brown color and going all the way around. And I'm also going to go around the outer portion of the ears because I thought... It, I thought it needed it. <laughs> I thought it needed to be a darker brown to look, look more like a bear. And I did mix some linen with that darker brown color to make the area that I'm going to be painting for the, like where the nose and the mouth will be so that you can tell a difference in it, but it's not just so such a, I don't know, such a contrasting color. And then I'm painting on the nose with a black, with black color, black, and just trying to carefully do it. It's a little hard to do because the wood slices are not smooth. Even though I try to sand it a lot, it wasn't smooth. And I added some eyes and this is how it turned out. Just super cute. And there's lots of different things that you could do to embellish this and kind of zhuzh it up even more. But I thought this would be a great ornament for like a woodland themed tree. This is going to be a quick and easy one. I got these tower tumbling blocks from Dollar Tree. I painted two black and one white and I'm just gluing them together with the black on the top and black on the bottom. But when I did this, I accidentally messed up the face. So I had to repaint the middle section white again. And then I took a black paint pen and I just did two little dots for the eyes. And I used an orange paint pen to make a little triangle for the nose. I'm going to hot glue on some Buffalo check ribbon. I got this from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to kind of wrap it around and go off camera for a minute, <laughs> but I'm wrapping it around. This is going to be the snowman's scarf. And then I take a little, um, smaller piece of ribbon and I'm just folding it over. So it'll be kind of like the scarf is folded and I'm just hot gluing that in place. Just trying to be careful with the hot glue because hot glue is hot. I did add a little jute twine hanger, but this is how it turned out. Super cute, super easy, and you can make a ton of these and sell them at like a craft fair or something like that. And I just think they're adorable. I would be remiss if I didn't tell you that I have a crafting group on Facebook and I'm trying to create an online community that's supportive and encouraging to each other. So I'd love it if you join us. I'll have a link to that in the description box below. All right, let's get back to the video. For this next ornament, I saw this little, I think it was a gift tag and it had a penguin kind of peeking out the side. And so I, I sketched it on this little gift tag that I got from Hobby Lobby. 
and I got it in like, I think near the wedding section, but it was one of those pieces that's like not on sale. It's got the whatever tag that says it's like never on sale anyways. So all I did was kind of sketch in, it was super easy shapes and I'm drawing or painting on the black for the penguin's face or body because the face is white. Anyway, you see me just painting on here and I'm just trying to be careful and taking my time doing it. And I go through kind of a couple variations with this hat. It's just like a um, knit hat. And I thought, oh, God, I'm going to make it two-toned. Then I'm not. And I kind of fill it in. And I'm making a little fuzzy ball that goes on top. Just kind of being, um, just kind of painting until I like how it looks. But I did use an orange paint pen to um, paint on the nose. And a black paint pen to paint on the two eyes. And then here you see me trying to kind of change up that hat a little bit because I just wasn't quite happy with it. And I used a more concentrated color. I'm using watermelon, actually. I really love the color watermelon. Anyway, I am just using my paintbrush to kind of make some spikes kind of going out so it looks like it's a fuzzy cap. And then I'm painting on the little um, scarf that the penguin is wearing. And here's kind of where I went off track. I thought, you know, I want a little um, snowflake there. And so I found a snowflake in my little um, container of wood pieces, and I'm just painting it white. I do go over the edges with this really pretty blue color, and I can't remember what what color it is. I th it's a ceram coat color. Anyway, it's just a very pretty light blue, and I'm trying to go lightly around the edges, not too heavy with it. Then I decided I needed a background, so I'm taking that same blue color and trying to paint on with this little dauber paintbrush that I was using, and I'm just trying to create the background. And I'm going to hot glue on that little snowflake in the corner, just like that. And that's how it turned out. I think it looks super cute, and I'm pretty pleased with how it turned out. Although I think maybe adding some like I'm not, I'm not even a fan of glitter, but I think adding some glitter might give it that extra little zhuzh that it needs. This one is so quick. If you blink, you're probably going to miss it. So I painted another tower tumbling, three tower tumbling blocks. I painted one red with crimson, where the chalk paint in the color crimson. I painted the middle block with the linen color and the bottom block with, um, where the chalk paint in the color snow white. And then I glued them all together and I used a black paint pen to add two little dots for the eyes. And I used, um, a little, uh, I think his nose is pink. I just made a little dot for his nose. And then I used a little sponge dauber thing there. I got those from Hobby Lobby and I was kind of pouncing up and down. Oh, I hadn't glued them together yet. <laughs> I thought I already glued them. Anyway, I kind of pounced up and down. So it kind of looked like a fuzzy part of his hat. And that's it, y'all. Just, I mean, this was so easy. There are other ways you can kind of like add a little bit to it. Some people have, I've seen some people glue like little pom-pom balls to the, the hat. I didn't. I just chose to like leave it kind of a little plain. And, but I think it turned out so cute. And then just so easy to make. And it'd be a fun little craft that you could do with kids too. This one is one where I'm using fall Halloween shapes. So I'm using a witch's hat and a ghost and I got those from Dollar Tree and they come in a pack of usually six or so and you just need one. But and I was going to use a pumpkin to make another gnome thing, but I decided not to. Anyways, we're going to paint the bottom of the hat, the brim of the hat there with Whaley chalk paint in the color Snow White. And I'm going to paint the ghost or at least most of the ghost with a, um, paint in the color um, citrus green and I think that's a really good color <laughs> if you don't know I'm making the Grinch it I think it's a really good color for the Grinch and I do paint the front and the back although you're not really going to see the back much but just in case you can I paint the back as well I did tape off where the white brim of the hat was and I'm painting that top portion with Waverly chalk paint in the color crimson and I needed a little bead for his nose, so I just put a bead on a skewer and I'm just using a little sponge dauber to paint it. And then I did this kind of out of order. I'm, I'm gluing on the nose first. I don't know why I did that first. I should have done the hat, but anyway, here we are. 
and I've got captain's assistance as you can see. <laughs> so I hot glued that on and I did use a little extra hot glue so it would come out the top hole because I'm going to paint that in a second. And then I just added hot glue there. I added the hat on and just pressing it down. And then I go back and I kind of cut off that little excess glue and then I'm just painting it with that citrus green color so it matches. And then I'm taking a white paint pen and I'm just going around the hat, adding some little dashes. Sometimes I'm adding a couple dots just to kind of give a little added interest to the piece. And I do that for his face as well, although I don't know if I show you that part. We'll see in just a second, won't we? Nope, I didn't show you. We skipped right to the uh, black paint pen for his mouth. And I just kind of draw a little curvy line like that. I've made this one before and I think they turn out so cute every time I make it. Now, if you wanted to zhuzh it up a little bit, again, you could add glitter maybe, um, but I think it looks good just like this, and it's so easy to make. I am using another wood slice and that watermelon color. I think it's Ceram Coat that makes the watermelon color. It's a plaid paint product. <laughs> Anyways, I am just painting that on, and I'm using the rings of the wood slice to kind of guide me. And if you try using any of those wood slices, I really encourage you to sand it really well, really well, because it is a rough surface and it, it's a little harder to paint on and to get, you know, kind of the finish you're looking for because the surface is so uneven. Then I'm painting on a little kind of oval shape. <laughs> uh, I don't really, is that a, sh I don't, it's, it's oval, kind of oval shape, but it has a well, you see what I've done there. And then I'm taking that little sponge dauber again and I'm adding some ears onto the side. This is going to be a polar bear. And I had seen another ornament this way, or maybe it was a gift tag or something like that, but I thought it would make a cute ornament. And then I'm taking that linen color. That is one of my favorite colors. And I'm using that to paint on the mouth area and uh, I was like, what was I doing just then? I don't know. Um, I'm painting on an area so that I can put on the mouth and the nose. But then I take this really, really pretty teal color and I'm going to make his scarf. Well, I guess it could be her scarf. But anyway, I'm making his scarf with that really pretty teal color. And I take a white paint pen. And this is kind of where I noticed that I didn't sand it enough. And I don't even know if it would have gotten smooth if I tried sanding it even more. But I'm just making a couple little stars and then I'm just making a bunch of dots all the way around to kind of, I guess, look like snow or something like that. Just trying to add a little extra oomph to the piece. And then I take a black paint pen and I do two little dots for the eyes and then I draw on the mouth. You know, I'm it, again, uneven surface was a little challenging for part of this, but um, we plowed through it. And this is how it turned out. I think it turned out really cute and um, I like it. All right, this is the last one, y'all. So I have a bunch of Dollar Tree calendars and I only kept the back page that you see there for most of these because I, I just really don't use the inside of the calendars that much. And I chose one of the images that I liked and I had taken some craft sticks some popsicle sticks and I'm cutting them down to size and what I'm trying to do is make them to be kind of like a picket fence or just like a fence type thing because I thought that would look cute and I'm not trying to make them all even or all perfect with one another I want it looking a little rustic because that's the look I'm going for so once I've cut everything down I've got a measure here. Okay, let's cut the last one. Okay, now I've got everything cut down. I'm taking some wood glue and I'm gonna glue a little one across the top there. And it's a little longer than than this, the, the rest of the sticks. So I'll cut that down later. Then I'm taking some Waverly chalk paint in the color Snow White and I'm using a chippy brush to kind of dry brush it on. 
Again, I want this to look kind of rustic and you're not really going to see most of this anyway because the little image I cut out from the calendar was, it's going to cover it up. I just take a glue stick and I'm putting glue on the image and then I'm pushing it into the middle where I want it to be. And then I'm taking some distressing ink. And I can never remember if it's Tim or Jim, but anyway, it's his distressing ink. That's what I'm using. And I'm using that brown color to kind of give it an aged look, kind of a rustic look, because that's the, the look I was going for. And this is how it turned out. I think it turned out really cute. And for all the pieces, I did hot glue on a little bit of jute twine so that I could hang it up. But doesn't that look adorable? I, just, I love how it looks. And I was very pleased with it. I'm really happy with how all of my ornaments turned out today. And I hope that you got some inspiration from the pieces that I shared. Thanks y'all so much for joining me today in my studio while I craft, create, and paint. I hope you found some inspiration. And if you did, and if you recreate anything, be sure and tag me on social media. I'd love to see what you're up to. Even if it's not a recreation of mine, tag me. I'd love to see what you're up to. And don't forget, I will have the links to Katie at Lady Red Crafting, Jody at Southern Seasons, and my online community on Facebook, Crafty DIYs on a Budget, as well as to the playlist for the Everything Christmas playlist. It's all going to be in the description box below, so check that out. And um, yes, I think that's it. Oh, I'll, I'll leave some other videos up here for you to enjoy as well. And um, I hope you make it an awesome day. And if you want to follow me on social media, like here on YouTube or over on TikTok or Instagram or Facebook, my handle is Our Gray House, but just don't follow me in real life though, because that's creepy. Bye.